Hi guys, I hope everyone's well. In this video, I just want to quickly go through um, the group and the community group and school and how to use it. And it's not a hard uh, application to use, but I think it is one where if I guide you through, then you'll understand a bit more uh, with what school does and why I really like uh, this uh, website uh, that we're building the community on. So, the concept of school is a platform where you basically uh, come and learn uh, and share. So, it's really suited for what we're trying to do here with um, the property mindset community here. So, the main section that you'll be taken to when you first join up is the um, feed section so this is the community tab that you can see up here and here you can see that there are posts that are already been done throughout so i'm adding content on a daily basis um, that is for the group and anyone uh, that wants to contribute um, feel free to put your new posts up and i'll go through and walk you through quickly on, on how this is done uh, and it's quite simple basically so as you can see here, once you joined up into the community, uh, first things to do is to go into this pin tab or this pin post and click into it. Here you would see some information uh, about this group, what we're about, and also some quick links to some suggested courses or modules in the classroom area. So with this you can see uh, there's also some links uh, to Google Store and Apple Store. So the beauty about school is that you can actually download an app dedicated to um, the, the, the site, which you can access on your phone. So when you have notifications come up uh, of any new posts or any responses to your comments, you can see and you can also access everything uh, on the app as well. So all the classrooms and the modules that you see. So first things first, what you would uh, want to do here, here is go on to the community tab, find this post and make an introduction to yourself. Show people, you know, tell people what you do uh, and what you're looking for in the community and how you can help. And I think this is always a good start to, uh, you know, showing people. So we've already got some here, um, of some recent members uh, putting comments in as well. So that's a great thing to do. Um, secondly, uh, when you are ready, make, make yourself a post. Um, if you've got anything to share, any lessons, any wins, any experiences really, you know, you can take some of the examples of what I'm doing uh, from the feed itself and, and you know, create your own content and your share away because I think this is a place where it's a safe space where essentially you can put your content out there and just learn to create a bit more uh, when it comes to uh, using a platform like this and helping other people as well as learning yourself. So to do that is quite simple. You can go up here to the write something bar and essentially you've got a title, you can write whatever body of text you want and then you can do these funky things here as well. So you can add attachments if you want to. You can uh, add links. So if there's a URL, you might want to link to an article uh, that's external. You can do that as well. You can have videos, which is great because you know sometimes you might watch something on YouTube that you think is a great share that you want to share. So by all means, put a video, turn it into a post. Then you can add, add a poll. Uh, a poll is basically you know, something that you would ask a question and, uh, and get get feedback on um, which you know, might be good if you're trying to do something or you're looking for feedback on certain things so let's say you know what kind of feature wall you want what you want green or yellow you can get the community's feedback on whether you know which color would suit the theme better and the quick action that is basically put in uh, an action there where someone wants to comment on it uh, it would uh, trigger that they've completed an action so essentially, if you would like people to contribute, you use this tab to, uh, or use this button to actually do that. Then you've got fun things like emojis. So you can search for emojis here, which is great. And then also GIFs, you can find GIFs. Uh, that really expresses you know, your feelings in, in, and for the post, which is also a good thing for you to do. 
Um, and then finally select a category. So I've got a number of categories where basically you can select which is the relevant one. So if it's about properties, you can use the property tag. Uh, lessons, uh, any learnings that you might have. Again, use that tab or motivational stuff, sharing wins. So this is great uh, because it allows you to filter later on uh, the posts if you want to just see certain things, which if we go back to the community tab here, we can see there is um, different tabs here. So let's say I want to look all about the property posts. All you need to do is just toggle that on and you can see all the property related posts all being tagged uh, as well. So you can also filter out different things as well. So you can filter by recent activity or newest posts or the best posts of the week. So this is the community tab and it's, it's, as you can see, it's quite simple. You, this other stuff around here, you can see how many members online, uh, how many members in, in the community and a bit of a little fun game here with the leaderboards, but I'll touch on that in a second. But the real meat and bones of school and the functionality and what makes it really great is the um, classroom section and this is the place where we are going to be using quite a lot uh, and I will be uploading um, a lot of content, some content that I will be creating for myself, particularly when it comes to property investments because I'm a property investor and developer myself. Uh, there's a lot of knowledge that I would love to share with you guys and help you guys learn and you know uh, progress on your journey. So. The way that this works is each of these is a module, um, well, it's, well it's a classroom area, sorry, uh, and then within it there are different modules. So let me just go and <clears throat> show you one. So let's go into the property one. So essentially we've got uh, on the left hand side here we've got different tabs basically uh, and some are nested so what I'm trying to do is actually group up certain things uh, into different categories and then you can expand on it so for this one is a actually like mini module slash course on uh, investing in properties so property investing 101 I, I would highly suggest you guys have a look at this particularly if you're new to it because it goes through 11 different courses from A to Z on um, how to invest in properties so it starts from finding the right investment strategy for yourselves all the way down to scaling your property portfolio so each one of these is a, is a different module so if i were to let's say go into the first one first module you can see there's the content here for you to read and there's some tasks for you to do as well which would help you uh, along your way and then each of these tabs or you can drop them down drop down menus where we've got different um uh, kind of like content here, different modules here. Uh, I did one recently uh, talking about um, adding value through floor plans. So this is another great one uh, about how to design your properties using the floor plans. So this is a great uh, area for you to, to look at when it comes to property. Uh, but that's not all about the community because we are also a mindset and self-development community. So another part of it would be uh, looking at these different aspects. So I've got the self-awareness area, I've got a mindset and motivational area, productivity area, and I've got a business and entrepreneurial area, which is really interesting because for me, this is where I go into summarize um, ideas from different people. So. Alex Holmosey is someone that I really enjoy listening to and he's got hundreds and hundreds of hours of content online which what I'm doing right now is taking some of his presentations and summarizing and really condensing it into uh, a, a, a digestible format. Uh, so this one you have lots of quick note points with then also the links um, to the timestamps to the actual parts of the videos where he's talking about that point. And and that's where the value is you know when you don't have time you can quickly digest some golden nuggets on the go and that's why having the app on your phone is so good as well because over time the community would also become a resource of knowledge and uh, a library of, of, of knowledge in this sense so I really want this to become a, a resource hub uh, so that when you know you want some information or you want some motivation or you know just for uh, learning and entertainment wise you can come to here to the classroom to then find 
uh, videos that might be uh, of interest and summaries uh, to go along with it as well. And finally, there are a few other tabs uh, that you can see here uh, on the on the school uh, website. There's the calendar tab. So this is a place where uh, later on I might be putting online events. Uh, right now it's empty because I have not have anything, don't have anything planned. But further down the line, we might be doing uh, some live streams or some Zoom calls. Um, this is where the events uh, section uh, would come in uh, and where we're putting links and, and um, dates uh, onto here. So right now, there's nothing planned at the moment. Um, the whole idea right now is to grow the community and having more content for you guys to see uh, and to learn about and to read uh, at your own um, you know, your own time, basically. But f future times, we'll be booking in Zoom calls and stuff like that to, to really give more value to you guys that are part of the community. Here, you can look at uh, the next tab which is the members tab and basically you can see people that are part of the community Everyone should be putting down a bit of a biography So, you know, if you want to connect with someone directly, you can also use the chat function here uh, And you can message them directly So if there's someone that you think that's interesting and you want to offline chat Feel free to use this function Go through the list of people here uh, and, and connect and, and that's the whole point as well is to connect with people in this network and this community um, so that you can then further your network and grow um, your own uh, connections as well so I want to facilitate that with this community go to the leaderboards tab and this is the part where there's a little bit more gamification of um, school which is I think is a great idea so uh, whenever you comment, you do an action, you like, um, you know, you, you respond to someone, you reply to someone, you do a post. So any actions that you do on the website, uh, you would also be leveling up. Essentially, you you'd be keeping, you'd be getting points, and the higher the level, uh, basically you see how people are contributing. It shows more active how active you are. And further down the line, I'll be putting more sections in the classroom where would only be unlocked through different levels so you know it's an encouragement for you guys to keep on uh, engaging with the community keep sharing and yeah helping it grow essentially so here we can see the leaderboard uh, right now at this point in time uh, we've got Annika who is number one uh, in terms of engagement then we've got Joshua and then now we've got Will who actually recently just joined the group so he's doing really well in leveling up his points so keep going at it guys uh, it's great to see uh, how you guys are uh, doing and, and I'll be sharing that on a week to week basis as well uh, for you guys to remind you guys who is top of the leaderboard but right now it's Annika who is actually smashing it <laughs> and finally we've got the about tab which just gives you a bit of um, information for anyone that wants to join and also some rules here and some house rules to to adhere to basically just respecting everyone uh, that's in the in the community and just be kind don't bully people don't you know don't say things that are really bad uh, and you know and, and I think the people that join the community as well uh, will all be great people because I personally vet them as well to make sure that they are right fit for the community so yes so that's it for the school community and a quick guide on how it works and what to look out for and as you can see it is pretty simple and I think it is the concept of being the synthesizer and to share and to create content consume content create content and then to um, create it uh, is the main key here and with that being said I want you guys to go out there enjoy your day and um, if you need any help let me know but um, besides that I hope you guys have a great day and I will see you all soon